Hi, my name is Gwen. Do you know what these are? This is a samarium magnet, and this is a neodymium magnet. And these are the strongest magnets in the world. Let's check them out. We put a magnet here, so let's check how strong it really is. This magnet can lift over a thousand times its own weight. And these are the magnets used in electric vehicles, and this is what we'll be focusing on in our project. When you buy an electric vehicle, you want it to be 100% environmentally friendly, don't you? Well, I have a secret to tell you. It's not. Of course, it's much better than a car which runs on fossil fuel. <laughs> but there are other factors to consider than the use of the car, such as its ability to be recycled. And that's not the case yet. For instance, it's a real struggle to get these valuable magnets out. It's nearly impossible. It's a shame because these magnets could be reused for wind turbines, e-bikes, or other small electric vehicles, and even the new generation of electric cars. Our clean technologies of tomorrow are depending on these magnets. And there's another reason that makes it more urgent to recycle. It's the fact that this supply from this country, China, isn't secured today. Almost all neodymium and samarium mines are situated in China, and the Chinese monopoly had some crazy price effects. In 2011, the price rose of neodymium not 10%, not 100%, but 700% within a few months due to Chinese protectionism. The European producers of clean technologies panicked. Our green economy was in danger. Luckily, later on, prices drop. But what if this happens again? That's why 15 young researchers are working in Demeter all over Europe. Some of us are looking for new and better ways to recycle and redesign those electric motors. Others are trying to build better magnets. Our aim is clear. We want to become less dependent on other countries, and we want to make the electric car truly green. Thank you for watching. Bye.